Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pro Wrestling Throwdown, the October 3rd, 2020 edition. I'm Caleb Black. This is Luke the Big Dog Williams, our in-studio producer, the Mighty Max Fury, and it's time for the Fantasy Draft. By the way, rugged, <laughs> handsome, and beautiful, and all that stuff. Yes. So, I mean, <laughs> so talented. Uh, next week, the WWE Draft returns. Starts on SmackDown, ends on Raw. So we thought it would be cool to create a fantasy draft. The rules of our draft is simple. Six superstars from Raw to SmackDown, six superstars from SmackDown to Raw, and two superstars from NXT that are going to get a call-up. One to Raw, one to SmackDown. Is that fair? Yeah. All right. Also, we want to make it abundantly clear that these aren't predictions. These huge, are huge, like, the the main things. We want to, the people who could elevate themselves yeah, the most. people who could benefit from, from yeah. the switchover. Um, I'm going to say outright, Sheamus should go to Raw. Sheamus could thrive on Raw, and it would be a huge loss for SmackDown, but Sheamus would make a great real-life buffer for Drew. Agreed. Uh, could add a lot of uh, a lot of heel, much-needed heel intensity and athleticism to the title picture. Agreed. And really would, would be a good beneficial move for Sheamus to go back to Raw. Okay, so we're going to start from SmackDown to Raw. Sure. Chad Gable. Okay. I think that with uh, everything that's going on on SmackDown, with that third hour on Raw... <coughs> um, Chad Gable could get the push that he deserves. Right. He's he's funny, so you could put him in the twenty four seven title picture. Yeah, he is a legit Matt guy, so he could be part of Raw Underground. Yeah, I mean, there's so many different facets. So I say Raw Underground would be a really really solid yes. place for me. Yeah, so I believe Chad Gable. Yeah, uh, I think that it would be an interesting move if while these while the Usos are getting this singles push. If afterward, Jay Uso stayed on SmackDown, but Jimmy Uso was drafted to Raw. Interesting. So that Jimmy could kind of get his moments away. And obviously, you would need Roman to continue the story with him. But it'd be a really interesting thing to see both of them on either show getting an opportunity to be single stars. Agreed. Because you could always lead back to an eventual return team, or you could lead up to a match, a cross branded match between the two. I uh, agree. Yeah, totally. I yeah. understand that. Uh, my second. <coughs> From SmackDown to Raw, Callisto. Okay. Uh, for anything more than he could get out of the Lucha House Party, uh, could be a viable contender for the United States Championship. Also, would be great to put Dominic Mysterio up against to for both of them. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, you know you have several different facets that you could do with him on Raw. Yeah. I think. Uh. In, in the female talent perspective, especially, I think Nikki Cross would be very well suited on Raw. Agreed. Uh, now that especially the, the best friend tandem between she and Alexa Bliss has changed and is, is, is um, you know, ended, she would make a great female competitor for the Raw, uh, Raw Women's Championship. And you could get matches with her and Asuka, matches with her and Shayna. Yeah. Matches with her and even Nia, yeah. who's utilizing her size well. And she's charismatic enough that she could definitely rock the red brand. Agreed. <clears throat> uh, staying on the same topic, Naomi. Yeah. Uh, I think because SmackDown has been so <coughs> Sasha Banks, Bailey oriented in their women's division, I think that uh, there would be a better suited for Naomi on Raw. I think she would make a better contender for Asuka. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go Naomi to Raw. Yeah. Uh, one more for me from Raw would be, uh, from SmackDown to Raw, Jeff Hardy. Put Jeff Hardy back on the red brand. Let him get back, let him get into the Intercontinental title picture, or I'm sorry, the United <laughs> States title picture over there. Uh, again, a good a good buffer for, for the heels. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Jeff, I don't think you could ever turn him heel. No. But, uh, oh, but that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? It would be interesting. Uh, but yeah, he'd make a great face buffer for some of the heels on Raw, and you get... With, with the three-hour program especially, you'd you get a little bit more out of them because they're using them very well on SmackDown right now. Anyway. Yeah. But. Um, <clears throat> let's see. For my fourth, Matt Riddle. Okay. Again, the Raw Underground aspect would be suited <coughs> for someone like Riddle. Also, you have somebody who could viably be in the mid-card yeah. against Bobby Lashley. I think yeah, I think there's so many more opportunities for him on Raw than there would be on SmackDown. Yeah, agreed. Uh, for my fifth and sixth from SmackDown to Raw would be Shinsuke and Cesaro. Put them on Raw. Uh, give them some fresh tag teams to work with. Cesaro's a Raw guy. 
Cesaro needs to be on Raw. He needs to be showcased on the flagship show. Uh, and Shinsuke as well. With his charisma, his international appeal, definitely switch him over put him on the Raw. <clears throat> Good call. Uh, my fifth, Braun Strowman. Okay. Again, Raw Underground. They already yeah. had him beat Dabakato. Yeah. He's not going to get an opportunity to wrestle Roman Reigns as long as Reigns is heel. Uh, we don't want to see him with the Fiend again. He could be a viable contender against Drew McIntyre. Braun Strowman. Yeah. Six to uh, to Raw from SmackDown. Otis. He's yeah. never going to be able to cash in on Roman Reigns. He can no, cash in on Raw. Uh, Mandy Rose is there. They can continue that storyline. So I see Otis going to Raw. Yeah. For my first two picks from Raw to SmackDown, we're going to trade Shinsuke and Cesaro. And put private. Put the Street Profits. <laughs> Sorry. But the Street Profits on SmackDown. Uh, definitely freshen up the talent over there. They're, they're a young tag team. They'd add a little bit more excitement. Not to mention, you have to look at the tag teams that are already on SmackDown. The kind right. of athletic contest they could have with tag teams like the Lucha House Party would be incredible. Agreed. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll give two right off the bat since you already did two. One, um, from Raw to SmackDown, Andrade. Yeah. Uh, I think the Intercontinental title pitcher would look great with him. Yeah. Um, the Sami Zayn stuff with him would be incredible. Uh, two from Raw to SmackDown. Um, <coughs> oh, man. Uh, I had it and I lost it. Had it? Lost it. Uh, oh, send Drew uh, Dolph Ziggler back. Back yeah. to SmackDown. Yeah, for sure. And not doing anything with him on Raw. He would be better well, off. And he could fit into the title picture on SmackDown, I think, much better than he does on Agreed. The Intercontinental title picture, wherever you want to put yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for my third pick, I think Ricochet should go to SmackDown. I think that he sh he could, as a single star there, really, really get over, really entertain the Intercontinental title picture, uh, and have some, uh, again, some of his really high-flying athletic matches with the guys like Matt Riddle and Chad Gable over there. Uh, the, the Luchadors... Uh, you could put him up against some of the bigger guys yeah. and then have a good feeder, have a good buffer. So, ricochet to SmackDown. Uh, for my third role to SmackDown, Mickey James. Ooh. I think that she's being underutilized <coughs> on Raw. I think with the women's division being as lackluster as it is on SmackDown, it would give a dose of adrenaline to the women's uh, championship on SmackDown. Yeah. Mickey James. Uh, fourth pick, Aleister Black. Fits in well. Another singles guy that could use some freshening up, uh, some fresh competition, get him away from some of the Seth Rollins stuff. And also, he'd make a solid heel. Obviously, he's working heel right now, but he'd make a really solid heel buffer in the title picture. Agreed. Uh, <clears throat> fourth for me, Alistair Black. Yeah. Uh, for anything other than the fact, I think he can work with the Fiend. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, and like you said, he's a viable contender for the Intercontinental title. You can pray, he's a very durable worker. You can pretty much put him wherever you want to put him, honestly. Yeah. My fifth pick would be Shayna Baszler. Put her on SmackDown. Women's championship, or women's tag team title picture, notwithstanding. Put her on SmackDown as a single star. Put the SmackDown title on her. You know, pull all the right triggers with her on SmackDown and they missed putting on Raw. Which really wasn't their fault, considering on Raw at the time you had Becky Lynch, Asuka, all of these bigger, all of these big names, so it's kind of difficult, even for all of her gifts, to fit into that picture. But, her, but she on SmackDown would be a game changer. Agreed. <laughs> um, number five, Brock Lesnar. Ooh, never, only, only did the SmackDown thing the one time. The Kofi. Uh, I think that he should go do the SmackDown thing and be, once again, of course, the <coughs> title pitcher, but be the foil for Roman Reigns and the Paul Heyman thing. Yeah. You could get three months worth to six months worth of story out of that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, my sixth and final pick is Buddy Murphy. Send him to SmackDown. Uh, obviously, it would break up the thing that they're doing with Rollins and, and the Guerreros, but Murphy, another landscape for him where he can really excel as a single star because he is very good. But on Raw, there's a lot of talent there as well. And personally, I want to see him excel as a singles guy. Right. And I think SmackDown would be a great fit for him. Uh, my sixth and final from Raw to SmackDown, Keith Lee. Ooh, good pick. Uh, Keith Lee's floundering right now. Uh, <clears throat> they had the, the solid push in the beginning against Randy Orton. He's done nothing but drop matches to Drew McIntyre. Yeah. Put him on SmackDown. Put him with people like Big E. Put him with people like uh, The Fiend. Yeah. Uh, Roman Reigns. 
Uh, I think he would be a viable contender for their heavyweight championship there, yep. and they don't have a lot of big men. No, they don't. On SmackDown, <laughs> and I think that he would be an asset in SmackDown. I agree. All right, so who are your two NXT call-ups? Who's going to Raw? Who's going to SmackDown? All right, we'll start with Raw. Um, Call-up to Raw, Bronson Reed. Okay, I like that pick. For anything other than the fact that Raw also lacks most of your big men. Yeah. Uh, if Keith Lee's going to go to SmackDown. Then you need another big guy. You need to another big guy, but I believe that him <clears> is a big guy. He's a high flyer. Yeah. Like, he can fly. Yeah. And I think that that would fit. Also, I'd like to see Bronson Reed and Bobby Lashley. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. No, that'd be great. Uh, my pick's Adam Cole. Put him on, put him, all, put him on the red brand. Get him away from the undisputed era. Let him excel by himself. <clears throat> A great addition to their title pictures, either the United States or the world, honestly. Because, let's face it, he's going to end up WWE champion at some point before he's done. Right. If he if he doesn't leave to, to, to go to Greener Pastures. So, Adam Cole to Raw. SmackDown, Adam Cole. For all of the same things you said, except their titles. As well as, I think that Adam Cole, uh, and uh, you would get the Adam Cole AJ Styles, you would get the Adam <coughs> Cole Jeff Hardy. Adam Cole Matt Riddle again. Again, I mean, Adam Cole. Yeah. My pick to SmackDown, Bronson Reed. For all the reasons you mentioned on <laughs> Raw. Uh, a guy, I think he fits into SmackDown's landscape a lot better than he would on Raw. Uh, personally, he's a big guy. He can work. He can move. Like you said, they need some power guys over there anyway, and he'd be the perfect guy to go to SmackDown out of NXT. You know what I realized? I brought Otis to Raw and was just like, fuck Tucker. <laughs> Sir, what did Tucker ever do to you? Right? <laughs> Who'd he ever be? Pissing on my Alamo. Right. All right, guys, that's our fantasy draft segment. Let us know what you think about fantasy draft. Let us know what you think about the real draft coming up. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash pro wrestling throwdown. Excuse me. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Send us an email, yeah, at prowrestlingthreadon at gmail.com, or like, subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. Stay tuned, because the record of the week is coming up next. Thank you, yeah, some of the Carino ones. Wow.